In this session, we'll look at 12 Salesforce Data Cloud updates from the Spring 24 release. Let's first dive into updates for the Data Cloud for Marketing and the Data Cloud for Tableau. Using the Marketing Cloud Data Bundle option in Data Cloud, you can now easily ingest WhatsApp, contact, and tracking data, just as you do today for Email Studio, Mobile Connect, and Mobile Push. Next, there are some important Data Cloud segmentation enhancements. It's now possible to fine-tune segmentation using Boolean expressions, such as is true and is false. And when building a segment, you can get a quick estimate of the population count to validate your segment rules by using the new Approximate Segment Population field to confirm that the segment count meets your expectations. You'll also be able to take advantage of Einstein segment creation and segment intelligence. Use generative AI to build targeted audience segments in Data Cloud with Einstein segment creation. Describe the target audience and Einstein segment creation produces a segment in seconds. After creating a new segment in Data Cloud, select the Einstein segment creation option and then in the Einstein panel, enter a description of your segment using simple text. Review the draft, make changes as needed, then hit the create segment button. Segment Intelligence is an in-platform intelligence tool for Data Cloud for Marketing. With a simple setup process, out-of-the-box data connectors, and pre-built visualizations, Segment Intelligence helps you optimize segments and activations across common channels, including Marketing Cloud Engagement, Google Ads, Meta Ads, and Commerce Cloud. You'll need to go to Salesforce Setup to enable Segment Intelligence, then select the Segment Intelligence tab to view Segment Intelligence dashboards. Once you've created your segments, you can send them to a wide variety of activation destinations. New in the Spring 24 release is the ability to activate segments directly to Google Display and Video360, LinkedIn, and Snapchat. And now you can send to Data Cloud your segments created in Tableau. Within Tableau Cloud and Tableau Desktop, it's now possible to view the underlying data lake objects, data model objects, and calculated insights. Now, onto some general Data Cloud updates. Data Cloud enrichments, which allow you to place data from the Data Cloud into standard Salesforce components, were introduced in the Winter 24 update, and since then, there have been some enhancements. You can create your Data Cloud data enrichments from within the Object Manager for the contact or lead object. So, what's changed? For Data Cloud related list enrichments, there is now a better way for you to control who can see the related lists. There's a checkbox you can use to enable permissions on the Data Cloud object based on the permissions defined for the contact object, which it better ensures a cohesive security experience. For the copy field enrichment, there is now a sync history tab. Also, you can now use a key qualifier to identify the non-CRM data stream in a copy field enrichment. With a key qualifier, you can identify the data source that is driving the results of the copy field enrichment. Reports and dashboard capabilities were introduced in Winter 24, and since then, there have been quite a few improvements. You can now analyze calculated insights and use custom report types, just to name a few. Several new features have been introduced to make Data Cloud setup and management easier. Going forward, any new Salesforce org provisioned will have Data Cloud automatically enabled as soon as it's licensed in an org. And the documentation for REST APIs has been moved and made into its own guide. And lastly, you no longer need to enter the S3 bucket credentials in line for every Amazon S3 data stream you create. You can use a new Amazon S3 connector to perform a one-time authentication. Batch Transforms has also been improved. It's now possible to access multi-value data in a formula transformation within a batch transformation. In a transform mode, select formula and then select custom formula. In the formula editor panel, choose a multi-value function like the array join function shown here. There are two new Data Cloud Salesforce flow enhancements. You can now automatically send archival data or engagement data directly to the Data Cloud via flow. You can also select an existing Data Cloud record to test for specific conditions without affecting your actual records. Five new data types have been added to the data cloud. Email, URL, phone, percent, and Boolean data types can now be ingested. There are also a couple of really exciting data cloud updates for AI. 
Data graphs can be used to improve the relevance of responses given by generative AI by grounding prompts to LLMs. In a data cloud, you can access the data graph tab and select a primary data model object and one or more related objects and calculated insights. Once the data is pulled from the fields of the DMOs that you selected, you can use the data graph for your LLMs or for other purposes. Databricks now joins Amazon SageMaker and Google Cloud Vertex as options for the data cloud. Bring your own model. Within Data Cloud, you can define your model using Einstein Studio. Supply the details, the fields that influence the prediction outcome in the primary data model object, and the output object for the prediction. For the Bring Your Own Model, a data share is created in Amazon, Google Cloud, or Databricks, where the Data Cloud data is used to build, train, and deploy a model. Then the model inferences are consumed in Data Cloud and used for predictions and insights. Databricks, a Lakehouse platform in the cloud, is the newest addition to the Data Cloud Bring Your Own Model options. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to hearing from you. You can find me on LinkedIn and the O'Reilly Learning Platform, as well as on YouTube.